All right, welcome back everyone. Zaf here. We have the new hunter. Perfect timing in our lobby. Yu So Hyun. She's going to be featured in the next update, and there will be an update stream. So I will be streaming Netmarble stream myself. This stream basically happens one hour after reset, but I will be starting out of time, giving out codes, just talking to the chat. So make sure you join that stream. I will have it linked down below. Make sure to drop a like and press that notify bell button. That way you don't miss out on it. And there will be new stream codes as well. If you stay until the very end, there will be an exclusive coupon code. So do stay tuned. We will be streaming all of it. Now this update is honestly very big. We do have a lot of changes coming. So let's go over all of them. And actually one thing I do want to mention on stream. I believe every single time the devs do one of these streams, they do shout out to one person, so I better get a shout out. I will rage war against that marble if I don't get one. We'll see. I have a bad feeling about this. So do stay tuned, you'll get to watch my reaction. Once you do that content creator shout out, it better be me or we're gonna have a war in our hands. And also, speaking of shout out, congrats to Metonic for getting the first comment on our last video. Here is your shout out and enjoy your very exclusive Discord role. And also, do not forget, we have guild applications open, so make sure you apply. We've had close to 2,000 applications so far, so make sure you apply. There are three guilds, I do have a dedicated guild video on our channel, so watch that, see how it works, and join our Discord server to get updates. Now, taking a quick look at the update notices here, we can see the maintenance schedule. The update basically completes at 6 hours after reset, so it will take some time. It starts 10 minutes for a reset, so do your dailies before then, and then we wait 6 hours. That's totally fine. And as a reminder, we'll have two streams. The first stream will start basically one hour after reset. That's when the devs will go live on the official channel. And then 6 hours after reset, we will have an update live stream, so do stay tuned. I might potentially just stream through all of this, so we'll see. We'll see what we do. Now as we know, we have a new hunter coming out. Yu So Hyun, she is a new fire unit, and we also have her exclusive weapon. I will do testing for this new hunter, basically every single ascension level. We will give them a test, see how they are, see where it's best to stop when it comes to their advancement levels. That way anyone who is free to play, or a mid spender, knows exactly where to stop. And we also have something very important here, we have the new SSR weapon for Jinwoo, the SSR Phoenix Soul. This is a fire bow weapon. So this is what it's going to look like, and based on this weapon's release, I can tell you right now that when it comes to the guild raid bosses, I have a high, high suspicion that they are going to be weak to the fire elemental type, because if you recall with Vulcan, we had Alicia, we had Scanny, we had Malin, which are all water units, and Vulcan, any workshop villain today, is basically all fire, so I'm assuming when it comes to the guild raid bosses, they will be weak to fire, they do come out in July, alongside the new hunter, alongside the new weapon, so it only makes sense for them to be weak to fire. That way people are incentivized to summon towards the new banner, get the new weapon, etc. It just makes sense in my opinion, we'll have to see, but that is going to be my main assumption. Now going back, we have new costumes, not singular but plural. I wonder if it's going to be the swimsuit costumes, oh yes. And we also have Battlefield Trials challenges being added in, that's nice. A lot of us have been capped on those, so that is a very nice addition. And SR Hunter exclusive weapons being added, oh wow. Does that mean for SR Hunters, they will have new weapons? Okay, maybe making them more relevant? Interesting, that's actually a very nice addition. I don't think we've had any leaks on those so far. We do know that new weapons are going to come up for our Hunters, that being general weapons, not exclusive weapons, so I do wonder what this is going to be about. I'm very excited. We also have Hunter Archives being added in, but what's most important here is the Secret Library. This allows us to farm using our keys on additional game modes, so I'm assuming we can farm additional resources, maybe Hunter Materials, etc. This is nice, I can't wait to see what that's about, but that does add one additional thing for us to grind towards during reset, that's fine though, I'll take it. And actually, I keep saying most importantly, but most importantly, this is huge. Hunter and Rune skill balance adjustments, that's very, very nice. I wonder which Hunters are going to change, probably Hunters like Choi, I'm assuming. If they buff Choi, for example, we know for a fact the new raid bosses are going to be weak to fire. We have new events, new packages, and system improvements and bug fixes. 
all very good. And with the rune changes, they mentioned that in a previous update notice, basically some skills were being used, some assuming they're gonna adjust the runes, making them much more powerful. That way people do use those skills instead of using like what a handful of five skills every single time. So we do have that. And as a big, big reminder, we have a bunch of events ending. So I do wanna remind everyone, I'm just gonna hop back into our game menu. If we go to our inventory, for example, and we go to the weapon materials for hunters, this one, it expires in 18 days. So if you have, let's say under 70, you don't really have to worry, but if you have like 85, 90, maybe even 80, it might be beneficial for you to hop in and do a few more rate of draw summons because you'll be getting one additional copy of her weapon. If not, they'll go completely to waste. So it's kind of up to you what you want to do. In my opinion, I would do that, especially if you are low on the pity timer. I do want to remind everyone, when you do summons on the rate of draw banners, they do transfer over, that being the pity timer. So if you do, let's say 20 summons out, this will translate onto the next banner, meaning you don't lose a progression, which is very good. So it might be ideal to just do a few more summons, go towards the dice event, and get as many of those hunter materials from Aelin's weapon as you can. It is a bit hard with the dice event. I feel like this one provides the least amount of wards, but I'm probably just being biased here because this one takes so, so long to do. It's such a pain, that's okay. So going back to the update notice, we can see all these events are ending. So all of Malin's events, the points events, Libora's Raid of Banner as well, the Pitapat Treasure event, the Salvage Project is ending as well. I covered all this in the previous video. And all these packages are ending. Oh, that's too bad. The 50th day shop packages were so nice. I'm gonna miss those, that's okay. And the Rain of Draw dual packs are leaving. I do hope they bring in new ones. These are fantastic value. And the bonus tab is resetting as well. So make sure if you're a paid one, get as many purchases in as you can. This provides us a free SSR, so make sure you do it. And these event items are ending, as we mentioned earlier, so good to note. We also have revamp packages coming in. Interesting, we are updating the content and prices of the packages listed below. Hunters who have purchased these packages and are progressing through missions before the July 10th update will receive all rewards for incomplete missions based on the revamp criteria. Interesting, the revamp packages will be displayed separately in the shop and we kindly ask you to check the detailed information in the game. Okay, so I guess if you have empty purchases, it might be a good idea. This is just my assumption, but I'm assuming if you haven't completed all the missions for this package, you'll get them anyways. Based on what it says here, maybe there's an FAQ down below, but I'm gonna purchase any packages I have yet to do. I think I'll have one or two left potentially, we'll have to see. So that's an interesting change. They also said the pricing is gonna be changed as well. So I wonder what's better, purchasing them now or later. Tough call. I'm assuming they won't make them more expensive. Maybe they will. And they'll increase the awards while we'll the wait and see. And going down, we also have, oh, maintenance compensation. That's always good. 500 essence stones. That's always nice. Hunter archive keys. That's going to be an interesting one since they are revamping the system. So these will be farmable. That's kind of nice. And other than that, I don't see anything else of interest here. We covered everything, so new hunter, new packages, event rewards are ending, and also new weapons and costumes, but other than that, the skill balance is coming out, and a new farming mode for the secret library that should cover everything. I don't believe there's any additional notices here, besides more bans coming in, thousands of players getting banned as usual. Don't hack, it's not worth it, you will be detected. The faction of shield is very strong, they will detect you. So make sure you don't cheat, just play the game legitimately. That way you'll have much more fun. Now with that said, do not forget to support us on MR will support a program. And also fill out that guild application. I am giving out content for our whale guild very soon. Other guilds will receive contact as well, so just stay tuned. That's all I had for you today in this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And also go to our new live stream, drop a like there. And hit that notify me bell button. That way you know exactly when we go live. This was Zaf signing out.